everybody, and welcome back to Bantz Wars Obliteration. Today we have the religion special, where we decide which religion has been right all along via robot combat. We take four of the largest religious groups in the world and throw them into a ring together. We have Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, and Christianity. Let's not bother with religious wars anymore. Crusades, ISIS, uh, Buddha. Let's focus on robot combat to decide who really has been right all this time. Because in all honesty, we know that truth comes down to who can build the best robot. And we have four big religious figures in today with their own special creations. First up, Christianity. This robot is driven by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He has a cross hammer with those little tiny spikes at the end to trap and hold onto unwary opponents. Despite being admittedly meek and mild, it can convert water to WD-40. It runs so well it can move on water. And it cures various ailments. Sticking to principles, Buddha has built his robot with zero weapons, but total peace of mind. It does not dwell on the past. It does not dwell on the future. But it lives in the moment. Can this one cause a surprise and come out on top? Stolen from Mecca, the Islam robot driven by the Prophet Muhammad has two spinning blades at the front and large tracks on either side to propel the robot fort at great speeds. It does mean it has good pushing power, but it can be self-destructive at times. Will the beast from the Middle East enjoy a violent feast? Sorry. And finally, Vishnu drives the Hinduism mobile. Seven arms, two of them flippers, two of them balancers at the back, and three claws on top. We do apologise for the puns used on this information board here. It's rather cliché. But in a battle like this, who doesn't love a good old cliché? Let the battle commence! Four religious prophets, four robots. Of course we're going to the playground arena. The Islam bot is straight in on Buddha's mobile and pushes it into a corner on the wet puddles. That's going to cause some damage to electronics. The Christianity robot is pushing Vishnu's creation. Can't seem to get underneath the Christianity mobile. And in comes Islam to push. It's got amazing pushing power, this one. It's really able to get its message across. And Buddha comes back into it, not quite defeated by Islam yet. And it's under the Hinduism bot. And it's pushing and it's over. Buddhism has triumphed over Hinduism here and pushes it onto its back. I don't think it can turn itself back over from here. Meanwhile, Christianity and Islam are facing off in the centre of the arena. Buddhism now coming in to attack while, while Hinduism is counted out at the side. I think it's all over for the, uh, the Hindu bot, but now Christianity comes into Buddhism. Gets electrocuted from the puddle on the ground. It's not the cleanest arena, this one. But then again, it was never going to be the cleanest battle. Down comes that big cross on top of Christianity while Islam sort of spirals away at the other side, but now comes back into the action on Christianity. Buddhism keeping its distance, but now trying to come back into it while Christianity hammers down with that cross on top of Muhammad's menacing Mecca-mobile. Buddhism. Well, I don't know why it's going back to Hinduism. Hinduism's out of it. Get back into the action, Buddha. Get back in there. Stop eating all the pies. And look at this Islam and push Christianity against the side and leaves it for dead. It is dead. It comes in for the buzzer and pushes again towards the naughty child in the corner who kicks and destroys the Buddha bot. It's all over. Islam is the winner. It started badly for Buddha getting pushed against the side, but it came back and did a good job in eliminating Hinduism from the equation. Christianity and Islam fought against each other, but it was Islam who came out on top using that greater pushing power to really put Christianity in its place. Ooh, against the side wall. And then it comes in against Buddha. And there was no chance for the weaponless pacifists. Islam goes all the way to victory here in the Obliteration Religion Special. Congratulations to the Prophet Muhammad who comes away with the victory today. We've established who can build the best combat robot from these four great religions. 
Thank you all for watching this Bad Wars Obliteration special. Remember to take nothing too seriously from this episode and tune in to Bunch Wars Series 2.5 currently taking place on the A Heaper Games channel and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share on both the A Heaper Games channel and this, the Asterox Gaming channel for more Banterous content. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.